Happy National Day! It's National Day today and it's SG57, so Singapore's 57th birthday. So today is Red and White Day. So I'm like in Red and White. Okay, you can see. But anyway, I've also got like the tattoos. So patriotic, right? So anyway, today's a public holiday and we kind of kickstart the day with, as usual, a 9.8 km run this morning. And I was dressed in red, but Chiwing wasn't, so too bad. <laughs> anyway, now we are also dressed in red. We have this year's shirt from Bossini. So this is how we are showing our patriotism. Anyway, um, we're gonna hang around um, town today. Okay, not really town, like we're going for a local buffet spread lunch later. So haven't been to a buffet for a long time since COVID, so gonna make sure we enjoy our local feast later and I'll show you guys the spread once we reach our buffet place later for lunch so we are dressed in the same top matchy matchy mm. Ryan's trying to hide his top though <laughs> I'm so patriotic I have a NDP looking mask too <laughs> So we are now here at this um, Spice Brasserie at Park Royal Kitchener Road to have our NDP feast. So this um they are having this lunch buffet, Kamhai tea buffet, it's called Yam Cha and it's like 35 uh, plus plus per person and I think it looks pretty crowded and the spread looks fantastic. So there's a lot of old school um, items like old school biscuits, old school ice cream. I see local delicacies like Kuei Pai Tea, Prata and lots of other goodies so let's go take a look at the food and we'll see how we are going to celebrate our NDP over lunch so my mom has started her food check out the local delights that she has gotten also decked out in red looks like a good spread Ota. oh no no sorry Roja <laughs> and this is my dance snake also decked out in red with Ota before I get my food, I'm just walking around checking out the spread. So there's like a lot of old school stuff like kacang puteh and teh tarik. And the spread looks absolutely wonderful. So looks like a very localized lunch for us today to celebrate NDP. Everybody has taken their food except me. <laughs> oh, the ota looks like a very big ota. Looks very good. Yeah. Back with my plate of local delights. So I'm starting with some uh, carrot cake, chocolate I got the naan with the butter chicken, ota, and the braised cake. So there's really quite a lot of food. Mm, let's just try the butter chicken. Mm. Oh, okay, Chi Bing says the carrot cake is nicer. Because this is a Penang chocolate gel, it's not the Chinese chocolate gel. No, he said the carrot cake is nicer than the chocolate gel. <laughs> but the carrot cake has bean sprouts. Mm. Oh my god, but the carrot cake has bean sprouts. I'm not a bean sprouts fan. Okay, okay, it's a no, it's a carrot cake. It's a carrot cake. It's chai tau kuei, you see? Okay, so we're arguing whether this is carrot cake or chocolate oh, yeah, yeah. It's carrot cake. <coughs> okay, so Chi Beng has also gotten like some wachi and the uh, satay and also the kuei pai tea. How's the food? Good? <laughs> My mom loves her uh, unhealthy. Local, unhealthy. She loves her local food. Do not need to diet. <laughs> so poor Ryan has to wait for his ala carte another than fries because he doesn't want to have the buffet. Are you hungry yet? Eh? Hungry? Hungry, hungry hippo? <laughs> Have 
having the satay. Hmm. We even put the peanut sauce on it. Pretty nice, pretty authentic. How tender? Hmm. Yeah, satay is nice. So there's a lot of DIY stations here that you can make your own things like the Kui Pai Tea. Yeah, I saw the Popia, you can also make your own Popia. And the Muachi, you need to go and cut yourself as well. So I have like this Kui Pai Tea now. Oh, it's crumbling, it's crumbling. The prawn. <laughs> So we're gonna stay here for the afternoon until about 4 plus because they have this uh, special tea set I think that they will serve you after 2.45pm because it's a combination of like lunch and high tea so yeah, we need to wait for that tea of dessert as well Ordering a bowl of laksa to try Now that buffets are back, you can actually see the chef uh, cooking, take our own food again. No need to be served by other cooking anymore. Check out the bowl of laksa with chili on the side. Walking around with my mom to see what food she's going to take. <laughs> I mean, I mean, getting the chicken. So oh, there's chicken. She's getting the chicken. Chicken. Put the chai po. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but she needs it. Okay, the chili. No, not bad. There's also like lo mai kai. Oh, the lo mai kai looks good. You want? No, you take it. Let's say you take it. Oh, that's pretty good. Take it out. Try it out. Cute little lo mai kai. Oh, DIY chong pan. Oh, you can see. The DIY chong pan. So it's good that you can make your own um, filling, topping, etc. So you can choose your own uh, ingredients. And these are the sauces here. Okay, Ryan is having his nuggets. It's supposed to have fries, but the fries is not here yet. So at least he has some food to eat now. So this little boy doesn't eat most of the buffet stuff, so decided to just get him some nuggets and fries. How is it? Freshly fried. Hot or not? Huh? Is it nice? Hot? Sorry, yeah. It's yeah, this is the laksa. Oh, laksa comes with a quail egg. Try the gravy. Mm. I got a prawn. Mm. Oh, the laksa is very nice. Mm. The gravy is very nice. Oh my god. Mm. The laksa is very flavorful. Very, very good. As a KB taste. Getting some of the old school kacang puteh. So there's this kind, then there's also the mixed nuts and also the peas and a lot of old school biscuits. Kacang puteh. And Ryan's fries has come. I don't know what kind of portion of fries is this. Huh? It's supposed to be a kids meal with the nuggets. But it looks like it can feed an army of 10 people. <laughs> it's like everybody is stunned. 
Not a glass, a cup of um, day tarik. Mm, this is nice. So you saw the day tarik guy doing the pulling of the day tarik, right? So this is called day tarik because it's um full tea. That's why the Indian guy was like uh, pulling the tea. So this day tarik is really good. Mm. Oh yeah. And I got Ryan some goodies too, the old school jam biscuit. Uh, so I'm gonna steal one from him now. Mm. Okay, so Chibe is gonna make the ice kacang now. Ice shaving machine and also the ingredients for the ice kacang. Ice kacang in the freezer. Okay, you put a bit, you put a bit of this No, you should put it underneath, then the ice kacang will be on top. Ah. Oh, that's a lot, okay, just a bit. Okay, this is the coloring for the ice, later we will put. So let's see how this works. Okay, this is the ice kacang. Oh, Chile doesn't know how to make it work. Okay. Power. Oh, there you go. Okay, now. Can we put the coloring in? Ryan, you want to put the ice? You put the coloring? Okay, Ryan, you put the coloring. How about the green color? <laughs> that is a condensed milk, right? Okay, more color, more color, more red color. The ice, no color. Peanut, adding more coconut milk. Okay, so this is our finished product. Looks pretty authentic. Yay, good job, not bad. <laughs> Time to do a taste test of our yummy ice kacang. Okay, I think we can just. Okay, so we basically put a lot of uh, peanuts. I think the mung bean is it. Then we got the green chendo, chendo worm thingy, and also like a lot. She has a lot of peanuts uh, and a lot of condensed milk. Mmm. A bit of bandung taste. Okay, but maybe about the ice is not exactly sweet. I think you need to put enough for them to be like enough. I think we need to mix it more. Like maybe the condensed milk is more and more concentrated on one side. Not bad. Pretty authentic dish of a bowl of ice kacang. Oh, okay, so there's more sauce at the bottom. Oh, there's a red bean. Mm. Yeah, the bottom is thicker. Yeah. Now it is time for the Kopia making demonstration class. So Chibe is getting his hands dirty to make all the hands-on foods. So I think it's a good thing that they have a lot of DIY stuff, it's pretty fun. At least the customers get to like make their own popia, uh, clay pie tea and stuff like that. Okay, I think it's good to You want garlic? Uh, no garlic please. So this is how the expert makes it. Then we get the... Turn it. Not very good. <laughs> yeah, I think we have like the egg, the prawn, the peanut, the chili, the veggie, right? Okay, the peanut, we 
Pastries and this one has a cute mm. Singapore flag and it's red and white. So this high tea set really gets us in the mood for National Day because it's all our traditional local yummy kueh and desserts. So looking forward to digging shortly. So here is my little platter of desserts. Okay, this one my mom says is not nice. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Okay, this thing tastes spicy. Okay, this thing is weird. Okay, this one no. I'm looking forward to try this durian crumble. Durian uh, egg tart. Oh my god, the first item was a spicy thing that tastes like, really weird. Okay, let's see whether it's really durian. Mm. Okay, this one is better. Can taste the durian and taste in the... Egg tart. Mm. Mm, this one is good. And as usual, I like kueh salad because I like kaya. So this one goes very well with the rice. Mm. Okay, so basically all the desserts in the platter were good. Aside for this thing which I don't know what it is. It's spicy and it's funny and sweet. <laughs> I think my favourite is the durian tart. Durian egg tart. So we had a pretty good time at this uh, yum lunch char buffet at Spice Brasserie at Park Royal or Kitchener Road and it was even better made more better with a promotion 4 persons you get 1 free so we only paid for 3 packs uh, It was pretty good like the, lo the spread of local food was pretty awesome and they even have like the old school biscuits like the year biscuits, the jam biscuits, the kacang putih and all the local food and it topped up with a platter, high tea platter at the end with like some kueh and dessert so it was pretty nice Anyway, this place was super packed today. Like everybody is out here celebrating National Day through eating a localized buffet. So it was pretty fun and glad that we can catch up with friends and family this year without any restrictions. Like you know, have your usual gatherings and celebrate um, Singapore's birthday. So probably we're just gonna spend the rest of the evening catching the National Day parade on TV and just chilling around. Cause now we are like too stuffed to move. So. Just want to wish everybody again a happy National Day, happy SG57. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please also comment down below which other have you ever have you tried any um, other National Day buffets this year, or which are your favorite places to have uh, buffets from, or which are your favorite places to have local food. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.